What is reincarnation? Reincarnation is belief according to which, when a person dies, his soul momentarily separates of the body, and after some time take a different body to be reborn in the earth. Therefore, men would go through many lives in this world. And why does the soul need to reincarnate? Because in a new existence you must pay for sins committed in the present life, or collect the prize of having had honest behavior. The soul is, they say, in continuous evolution, and the success of reincarnations allows you to progress to reach perfection. Then it becomes a spirit pure, no longer needs reincarnations, and plunge forever into the infinity of eternity. This blind law, which obliges to reincarnate in an inevitable destination, it is called the law of karma. For this doctrine, the body would no longer be that a robe expires and disposable that the soul immortal weaves out of necessity, and that once worn leaves side to knit another. There is an even more chilling way of reincarnationism, called metempsychosis, according to which if one has been very sinful his soul can reincarnate as an animal, and even on one floor. The advantages that provides. Those who believe in reincarnation think that it offers advantages. First of all, it grants us a second, or third, or fourth opportunity. Would unfair to risk our entire future at once. Also, it would be distressing to have to settle with a single existence, sometimes mostly sad and painful. Reincarnation, on the other hand, allows start again. On the other hand, the time of a single human life does not it is enough to achieve the necessary perfection. This requires long learning, which is acquired little by little. Not even the best men meet moment to die, in such a state of perfection. Reincarnation, on the other hand, allows us to achieve that perfection in other bodies. Finally, reincarnation helps explain certain incomprehensible facts, such as that some people are smarter than others, that the pain is so unevenly distributed among men, sympathies or antipathies among people, that some marriages are unhappy, or the early death of children. All this understand better if they are paying debts or reaping merits from previous lives. Where it appeared. The first time the idea of reincarnation appears is in India, in the 7th century BC. Those men primitive, still closely linked to the agricultural mentality, they saw that all things in nature, then to complete their cycle, they returned. So, the sun he went out in the morning, he got in the afternoon, and then he went out again. The full moon it decreased, but it always returned to its full roundness. The stars repeated the same phases and stages every year. Summer and winter seasons they left and returned on time. The fields, the flowers, the floods, everything had a movement circular of eternal return. The whole life seemed made of cycles that were repeated eternally. This finding led us to think that also the man, when he died, owed another time to return to earth. But how did they see that the body of the deceased was decomposing? They imagined that it was the soul that took a new body to continue living. When Buddhism appeared in India, in the 5th century BC, adopted the belief in reincarnation. And through it it spread in China, Japan, Tibet, and later in Greece and Rome. And so, it also penetrated others' religions, which assumed it among the basic elements of your faith. A case of reincarnation. On the side of a hill overlooking the Turkish town from Henkages, Engin Sunger turned to his parents and said, I see the town where he lived. They knew, however, that he alone he had lived with them in Tavla, one more town large about four kilometers from Henkages. What the child two years old I was telling you is that Henkages it had been his people in a previous life. As the Sunger are Muslim Alavi who, unlike his neighbors, Muslim Sunni, believe in reincarnation, they reacted with curiosity rather than with laughter. Whose son are you, they asked? I am Naif Sisik. He replied and began to tell them circumstances of his life previous, and who had gone to Angora shortly before to die. Then Engin asked her parents to they will take him to Hankages. At first the Sunder, who had never heard of Naif Sisik, they refused. Soon after little Engin was found on the street with Gulhan Sisik, the daughter of the deceased, who was to Tavla's school. He addressed her calling her, my daughter, 
and seeing that the girl scared, he explained that he was his father. Before this incident there had been no contact between the two families but, in the face of what happened, Engin's mother decided to take him to Hankages to see the rest of the family. As soon as he saw Naif Sisik's widow he called her, my wife, and identified by his name to seven other family members. Child came to indicate a terrain ensuring that in the past had been his, which turned out be true even though it was no longer part of the estate. He also described in detail how had been hit by a truck driven for his son by backing down. Further, it was learned that Naif went to Angora to see a doctor, just like Engin had said, and died little then, in December 1979. At age 54. Engin was born almost three years later, October 8, 1982.